Well, as you can see, the rear school bus lights are off. Right there, that's the aftermath. Some of the screws didn't cooperate, but I won. They're off, Z. I will prep those holes to fill them and I'll show you how we did that. Okay, you can see where the lights came off of there. There's a little bit of residue, silicone, and some kind of foamy tape stuff. So I'm just going to take this 36 grit sander and get rid of whatever's left. <laughs> There, you get the idea, and I'll do all four. It doesn't matter that it's a little bit rough because it's gonna have Bondo over top of it and it'll be sanded. So I'll do all four of those and I'll be back. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use one of the old light brackets, the bezel, I guess, for one of the lights up there. Put it on here just to get a size. It doesn't really matter if these filler pieces are square or round or any shape because they're gonna go on the inside. So I'll go cut these out and I'll be back. Okay, I have these pieces all cut here. I just uh, ground them off a little bit so the Bondo will stick to them and the Sikaflex. Just gonna use one of the old things as a template, like I said, to drill some holes. And it doesn't matter that these aren't square or they are square, as long as they are this big and they cover the hole. So I'm going to set it up in a pattern like that, I guess. Oops. Something like that. Mark these holes on here with a Sharpie. There we are. We got some holes marked. I don't know if you can see that. A little shiny. There it is. There's one right there. Two, three, four. So I will mark these four out, drill the holes, and I'll be back. So I have one of these plates like this inside there. The boss is in the bus holding it. So I'm going to put some Sikaflex around here while she holds it kind of in place. Can you turn it? Yeah, you turn it. Turn. Other way. Yeah. Okay, right there. Stop. There. We have Sika Flex all the way around there. Right there. Right there and there. Yes! Woohoo! Okay. So now we're just going to put some screws in and hold it in place. Seeka flex squishing out all the way around, so that's how I'm going to seal it. This is sealed to there. After this is all dry, I'm going to grind off these um, screws and we'll bond over top of it. And no one will ever know there was holes there, right? It'll be smooth. Perfect. That's right. We'll clean all that off later. I might, I might wipe it now, but we'll see. Okay. 
We'll do the rest and we'll show you the rest later. There's the four holes done. So I'm just going to wipe this around a little bit. We'll clean up the excess later. Grind it all off and then put some Bondo on it or some body filler. Make it flat, smooth. Yeah. And the boss, <laughs> the boss here, she got a little bit of Cicaflex on her. Told her this wasn't going to be a messy job. I got some on me too. Huh, never fails. I got a little bit on me. A little bit on him too. But we'll get cleaned up and we'll be back. We'll be fine. Okay, we're at the back of the bus here. Outside. These are the holes covered over where the existing uh, school bus lights were. Where I made the cover plates, screwed them in with screws. So now we're just gonna leave these screws in here. We're gonna grind them off so they're flush and then we can uh, put some body filler over this. That'll allow these holes to still be sealed because the rest of the thread is still in there and it's holding this on there still. Just using a five inch sanding disc here. So let's just grind a couple off here and I'll show you. like that make it smooth I'll clean off the rest of this Cicaflex here before I put the Bondo on here so the Bondo sticks to the steel and then it'll look good it'll look like they were never there yeah so I'll come back and show you that later okay there's one side all buffed off with the screws I guess uh, removed I'm just gonna use this wire wheel here on the die grinder and buff off in this corner here one-handed so hopefully it works <laughs> there did that work that worked all right you gotta make sure that you get all the Sika Flex off of in the corner right there so the body filler has somewhere to stick to. And yeah, it should stay there. I'll do the other side with two hands. I'm not gonna show you that one because pretty much the same as that. I'll be back later. Okay, I got all the Sika Flex ground off. The screw heads are ground off. Now I'm just gonna sand it with this six inch or five inch, probably a five inch. Uh, random orbit sander here electric one just to get the black seems to come off pretty easy so off pretty easy. I'm just gonna sand off all the black because it seems to come off pretty easy before I put the body filler on and I'll show you when it's all sanded off. Actually you can see that side over there is done. So I'll show you before I put the body filler on. There she's all sanded off. I was using um, 80 grit sandpaper on that uh, sander and the black comes off really easy scuffs up this paint really nice so that's pretty much all we're do going to do on the outside of the bus to get it ready for a primer so now i have all this glue here to take off that's an ugly job yikes and then we'll do the body filler so we'll be back later so i've mixed up some body filler here sorry if it's jerky around but i'm trying to hold the tray 
and the camera so we want to push it into the corners make sure that all the corners are filled really worried about building it up to the same level as the outer skin yet I'm just concerned about getting it into the corners see there's a little air pocket right there we want to make sure those are filled Yes, I'm sure there's people that will do this in like one or two swipes, but hey, uh, it's not me. But I can do what I need to do here. We don't want to just gob it on half an inch thick either, because all you'll be doing is sanding it off. Not sure how much of that you've seen, but That's going to be good enough for the first pass. Then we'll just sand it a little bit and we'll put the cover pass over top, smooth it off and see what that looks like. We'll show you that probably tomorrow. So that's uh, sanded after one coat of body filler. You can see it's pretty much filled in. So one more skim coat over top, smooth it out each side and we'll be done. Yeah. There's the second coat covering just the low spots. So we'll sand that and maybe have to do a wee little bit again, but it's close. There's sanded after the second coat. See it's a little bit low right here still. But we're getting close. Little light coats, then there's less sanding between coats. So one more and we should be done these. There's the other side. Looks pretty good. There's sanded after the third coat. She's ready for primer and paint now. There's that side. Yeah. She's all smooth. Worked out good. Back later.